I apologize on behalf of the appellant. Good morning. Come on up. Um, I think every case on this calendar, well, there's two cases on this calendar, 10 minutes aside. So, uh, appellant, please come on up. Please let me know uh, if you want to reserve some time uh, for a rebuttal. Okay? That would be a great, Judge. Five minutes would be excellent. Thank Whatever you. you want. Uh, I'll give you five minutes without any problem. Uh, counsel, have you, have you talked to Tallahassee? Are you sharing time? Or? I have. I've deferred my time to Tallahassee. Okay, great. Thank you very much. May it please the Court. Your Honor, it's our position that um, uh, the uh, lower findings were not supported by uh, competent um, and substantial evidence in this case. Basically, what we have is a um, uh, recent immigrant from Colombia who did not speak English come into the United States and uh, find employment with um, uh, the doctor in this case. Now, in, in reference uh, to the factors uh, they are controlling on the issue, um, uh, that this is a uh, employment relationship rather than a, um, a contractual or subcontractor relationship, I think the, um, uh, the evidence that came out in the lower level um, support a, facting, a, a finding that uh, the uh, original decision was not supported by competent evidence. The, uh, the most important uh, parts, I think, that are reflected uh, is the fact that the employment was for a period of five years. Um, all payments were made out uh, by check to cash. The client, uh, Maria, she uh, paid taxes. The doctor, of course, did not by using the um, designation of cash and uh, not disclosing the, um, uh, the real recipient of the uh, monies. Um, as far as the uh, work description is concerned, um, I think it's quite clear that um, uh, the, uh, our client came into this business without any former training and only without any license. Now, all training that was done here in reference to the cleaning, to the taking care of the house, to the taking care of the children and driving the children to school, as well as taking care of the uh, mother um, of the doctor, uh, were all skills that were taught throughout the employment. And um, her work was highly controlled and censored and redirected constantly by the um, doctor as well as his wife. Now, important to point out is that a lot of the supervision came directly from Mrs. Costa, the doctor's wife, and she did not testify at the lower level. Counsel, let me ask you a question because I, I understand everything you're saying and I understand where you're coming from, but uh, one of the problems I'm having is so much of this decision was based on credibility. So we can't reweigh that. How, how do we get around a lot of the, the findings are based on credibility alone? I, I, I think respectfully, uh, credibility in our position was highly tainted by the fact that when Maria testified, she was not represented by counsel. Mm -hmm. She didn't know what the tag words are, so she, she was trying to explain certain things and not having the benefit of a lawyer having prepared her for the testimony, nor really understanding the legal framework of it. I, I think um, that is one of the factors that I think could factor into the credibility. And I think at the end of the day, some of the issues, some of the facts that we're relying on are undisputed, um, uh, which, which I think is the fact how long it was, uh, that, that, that this was not just a regular housekeeping job, but there were other individuals involved, like children, like uh, parents. <laughs> um, the, the additional fact that a uniform had to be placed on her, that certainly was not paid by her or um, uh, it was her decision. Those, those facts, I think, support, would support our position. I understand. I understand. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you, Counsel. You still have your five minutes. Uh, Counsel? May it please the Court. My name is Luis Gutierrez. I'm representing the Reappointment Assistance Appeals Commission. The issue in this case is whether the claimant earned enough wage credits and insured work during her base period to become monetarily eligible to receive benefits. The referee held she did not earn sufficient wage credits because her work 
during your base period was as an independent contractor. Whether an employee is a whether a person is an employee or an independent contractor is an issue of fact. Because of this, the commission limits its review to whether the referee applied the common law test, whether the referee adequately developed the record, and whether the findings are supported by competent substantial evidence. In this case, the common law test is stated in Cantor versus Cochran, which recounts the restatement of agency, section 220. The referee in this case applied that law uh, Applied the correct common law. The commission found upon reviewing the hearing, uh, the referee adequately developed the record and demonstrated uh, that the findings are supported by the competent evidence. Uh, the evidence was based on the employer's witness first hand testimony, which the referee found to be more credible. And the credibility was based upon uh, the conflicting uh, pre hearing statement of the claimant rather than her demeanor. But the commission found no reason to disturb the referee's decision, and to do so would require the commission to impermissibly reweigh the evidence. And for this reason, the, the commission's uh, order should be affirmed. Thank you, Council. Thank you. Council? I, I would urge the court also to look at the intent of the doctor. Not disputing the facts and not disputing uh, the evidence that came out at the lower, lower level, I think uh, uh, what, what happened here is just a, a smart doctor preparing almost a situation for this day in court here today. Now, I understand from the credibility that the lower level cited on some of the factual issues with the doctor, but I think the doctor's intent, though, is clear from the undisputed facts. And the intent was to take advantage of a non-English speaking immigrant who doesn't understand her rights, who asked on numerous occasions, and who reported to the federal government not only to pay her taxes, but also in her immigration applications uh, that she's working, who certainly was not trying to disguise anything. Certainly the, the doctor's intent here um, uh, was to disguise the real relationship. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. <clears throat>